Mary, our quickest path to Christ, a St. Louis Marie de Montfort reflection. Beloved in Christ, let us contemplate one of the greatest mysteries of our faith, the role of the Blessed Virgin Mary in our salvation. I speak today with the spirit of St. Louis Marie de Montfort, a humble servant of God who had a profound love and reverence for Mary. His words and teachings were filled with fire, a fire of devotion that sought to draw every soul into the heart of Mary. For it is there, in her immaculate heart, that we find the surest, quickest, and most perfect way to Jesus Christ, her Son. St. Louis Marie would remind us that, to truly know Jesus, we must know Mary. She is not a mere figure of history. She is the living, eternal masterpiece of God's grace. In her, the eternal wisdom of God shines forth with unimaginable splendor. When we speak of Mary, we speak of the one whom God himself chose from all eternity, the one whom the Father willed to be the mother of his only begotten Son, the one whom the Holy Spirit overshadowed with divine power. Mary, the perfect path to Jesus. Mary is the perfect path to Jesus Christ because God chose her to be so. St. Louis Marie teaches us that true devotion to Mary is the surest way to holiness, for she is the most direct route to her Son. To understand her is to understand the mystery of our salvation. Consider, beloved, that God came to us through Mary. He chose to enter our world, not as a full-grown man or descending from the heavens in glory, but through the womb of a humble virgin. In her, the Creator became a creature, the Almighty became a helpless infant. He trusted his own flesh to her care, his divine mission to her nurturing. If God himself trusted her, how much more should we? Mary's life is a reflection of perfect surrender. From the moment of her fiat, her yes, she became the cooperator with God's plan of salvation. In her, we see the fullness of the virtues that we are called to imitate, humility, obedience, purity, and above all, faith. It is by her faith that she accepted the incomprehensible mission of being the mother of God, and it is by her obedience that she followed her son even to the foot of the cross, where she offered him in silent suffering for our salvation. The Power of Mary's Intercession St. Louis Marie de Montfort teaches us that Mary's intercession is not just a pious tradition, it is powerful and effective beyond measure. She is the queen of heaven and earth, crowned with glory by her son, but she remains the tender, merciful mother who never ceases to care for her children. Her intercession can soften the hardest hearts, bring light to the darkest souls, and unlock the most profound graces from God's treasury. In his great work, True Devotion to Mary, St. Louis Marie speaks of consecrating ourselves entirely to Mary as a way to give ourselves wholly to Christ. He says, we never give more honor to Jesus than when we honor his mother, and we honor her simply and solely to honor him all the more perfectly. He calls this consecration a perfect renewal of the vows of baptism, for in giving ourselves to Mary, we give ourselves completely to Jesus. Do we realize the immense privilege we have to call upon her? She is the one who turns even our smallest offerings, our weakest prayers, into something beautiful before God. She is the mediatrix of all graces. Every grace that flows from the heart of Christ to us, his church, passes through her hands. Mary, the terror of demons. Let us never forget that the Blessed Virgin Mary is also the terror of demons. From the very moment of her immaculate conception, she was declared the enemy of Satan, the one who would crush his head under her heel. In every battle we face, whether it is spiritual, emotional, or physical, Mary is our refuge. She stands as a mighty warrior, clothed with the sun, crowned with stars, and with the moon under her feet. The devil trembles at the sound of her name because he knows that through her, the victory of Christ is made manifest. Saint Louis Marie tells us that Mary, by her humility, crushed the pride of Satan. She is Satan's greatest defeat. When we call upon her, we align ourselves with the forces of heaven. We must invoke her frequently, for she will not only defend us, but also lead us directly to her Son, the source of all victory. Mary's Role in the End Times 
St. Louis Marie de Montfort speaks prophetically of Mary's role in the final victory of Christ. He tells us that in the last days, Mary will raise up an army of saints, her children, who will be warriors of Christ, fighting not with swords but with love, purity, and truth. These saints, he says, will be consecrated to her immaculate heart and will defend the church against the attacks of the evil one. We are called to be part of that army. The rosary will be our weapon, humility our strength, and Mary our general. We are living in times where the battle between light and darkness is intensifying, but we have nothing to fear, for the victory has already been won. In the end, as Mary herself proclaimed, my immaculate heart will triumph. A call to consecration. My dear brothers and sisters, if you have not yet given yourself entirely to Mary, I urge you to do so. Consecrate your heart, your soul, your entire life to her. Allow her to lead you in the way of holiness. As St. Louis Marie said, if you want to grow in holiness, then give yourself to Mary. When we consecrate ourselves to Mary, we do not diminish our love for Jesus. We increase it. For no one knows Christ more intimately than his mother. She will lead us deeper into his sacred heart, where we will find the fullness of divine love. Less then, with hearts full of love and confidence, run to Mary. She is our mother, our queen, and our surest way to Christ. May her immaculate heart be our refuge, and through her, may we come to the fullness of life in Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.